Hello children. Today we will learn question tags. What is a question tag? In grammar, a question tag is a very short clause at the end of a statement which changes the statement into a question. For example, she requested her friend for the pen. Didn't she? The words didn't she are a question tag. Second, it's a clean, isn't it? The words isn't it are a question tag. A short phrase such as isn't it, didn't she, don't you, that is added to the end of a sentence to check information or to ask if someone agrees with you or often used for checking information that we think we know is true. Here is an example for you to understand in detail. The teacher was talking to the class about Preeti, who had made a beautiful glass painting. The teacher said, she has made a beautiful glass painting, hasn't she? And almost everybody said, yes, madam, she has. When the teacher announced a prize for Preeti, Meenal said, we are proud of her. Aren't we? You have not learned glass painting in any school. Have you? The teacher asked Preeti. And Preeti said, No, madam, I have not. Now look at these three sentences. She has made a beautiful glass painting, hasn't she? We are proud of her, aren't we? You have not learnt glass painting in any school, have you? Each of these sentences have two parts. A statement, she has made a beautiful glass painting. And a short question, hasn't she? This short question has been tagged onto the statement, so it is called a question tag. Why do we use question tags? In response to the question tag, hasn't she, the children says, yes, madam, she has. It means that the children confirm what the teacher says. Similarly, when the teacher says, you have not learned painting in any school, have you? Preeti confirms that she has not. We use question tags to get our statements confirmed. Now, let's learn how to form question tag. The question tag consists of only two words. Tag questions are made using an auxiliary verb. For example, be or have. Be means am, is, are, was, where. And a subject pronoun, for example, I, you, she, they, he, etc. We can use a pronoun of the same person as the subject. The tense remain the same. This is most important. Be careful, children. If the statement is positive, the question tag is negative. We have to write negative question tag. For example, here I have written, We are proud of her. Are not we. Now, are uh, that is auxiliary verb is given here in the sentence and I have added not to it because our statement is positive. So, our question tag will come negative. So, we will write like this, aren't we? Now, if the statement is negative, the question tag is positive. You have not learned painting in any school. You have not learned. Have not, it's a negative statement. So, my question tag we will write over here. Have you? Have you uh, given already your auxiliary verb have and subject is you. So, we have written it at the end of the sentence. Now, most important, uh, when you write a question tag, end of a statement you have to do comma and you have to write your auxiliary verb in small letters only and you have to add question mark at the end of the sentence. We usually use Short forms of the negatives have not, are not. Let us look at some more examples. These examples are of positive sentences with negative text. Tense wise I have given you here for your reference. First is simple present tense. It's a B form means M is R. Sentences she is American and we confirm it isn't she she is is given that's why i have written uh, used is not she and other verbs means that are our main verbs or we can say action words 
they live in chennai so here we use do or does in simple present tense do not they you don't have to write live not they okay you have to write don't they second present continuous tense we are working together so we know that are is here so aren't we simple past be form that is was or were it was cold yesterday wasn't it other verbs means our v2 form so we need to write that v2 form we use need to use did okay he went to the party last night didn't he past continuous tense we were waiting at the station weren't we present perfect they have been to japan have not they present perfect continuous tense she has been studying a lot recently hasn't she past perfect he had forgotten his wallet had not hadn't he past perfect continuous tense we had been working hadn't we simple future she will come at 8 won't she future continuous they will be arriving soon won't they future perfect they will have finished before 4 won't they future perfect continuous tense she will have been cooking all day won't she in this way you have need to take care while write your question text in these tenses now models he can help can't he shikhar must stay must not he now negative sentences with positive text first simple present tense with be verb that is am is are we are not late are we other verbs that is our main verbs she does not have any children does she present continuous tense the bus is not coming is it simple past she was not at home yesterday was she other verbs that is our v2 form they did not go out last sunday did they past continuous you were not speaking were you present perfect she has not eaten all the cake has she present perfect continuous tense he has not been running in this weather has he past perfect tense we had not been to london before had we past perfect continuous tense you had not been sleeping had you simple future they won't be late will they future continuous hmm. he won't be studying tonight will he future perfect she won't have left work before 6 will she future perfect continuous tense he won't have been traveling all day will he models na she can't speak tamil can she they must not come early must they remember these rules also children first i am the question tag for i am is aren't i i am right aren't i imperatives after positive commands will you and want you can both be used please come in want you post this letter on your way to the post office will you after negative commands we use will you only example don't forget to wake me up will you now the sentence begin with let us after let us we use shall we let us sit in the sun shall we let us wait for the rain to stop shall we children for your practice here i have given exercise add appropriate question tag to the following statements do these exercise in your notebook children and practice well of this question text thank you